Hey friend, welcome to Self Transformed, a podcast redefining self-care through simple fitness, nutrition, and mindset habits. I'm your host, Emily Nichols, certified personal trainer, Whole30 coach, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. (laughs) Hey, I know the struggle is real when it comes to taking care of you. I too am a busy working mom who felt physically and emotionally drained until I took action on my own transformation journey. I finally found the solutions to feeling confident and living a healthy lifestyle that doesn't feel hard and now I'm on a mission to equip you with sustainable tools to help transform your life from the inside out guilt free. Together, we will simplify your health and fitness into daily habits that don't feel like another thing on your long to-do list, but daily actions that light you up instead. So if you're ready to redefine self-care and step into your own self-transformation, then let's do this. Hey gang, welcome to Habit Hack Thursday. Today is a little different though. I don't have a quick habit hack for you. I have a very exciting announcement, but before I get to my announcement, I just wanted to say congratulations and I'm super proud of the girls that just joined the February round of Self Transform You. So doors are closed right now. The next round will open in March. I'll give you a date here really soon so you can sign up now to reserve your spot to join me in my four week signature program to help you transform into the best version of you from the inside out, which in turn gives the best version of you to the most important people in your life, your loved ones. And that really just starts with taking care of yourself, having a self-care plan focused around creating a customized health plan that is backed by proven habit strategies. So I've talked about it on the show numerous times because it works. You've heard from my clients. You'll keep hearing from them because I'm so excited and so proud of their success. So if you didn't get on this round, no worries. You can still go to selftransformu, the letter U, (laughs) dot com and sign up for the next round. Reserve your spot now because I only take a few ladies every month. Okay. So, okay, let's get into this very exciting announcement. I'm not going to waste any of your time or him haul around anymore. So again, if you didn't hear the big announcement from the Whole30 last week, there is now a plant-based Whole30 protocol. Da, 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 da. Cue the confetti cannons. And gang, I am an official plant-based Whole30 certified coach. Yes, I went through the certification process to get certified to lead folks through a plant-based Whole30 but also I did my own self experiment. You know, I love doing these self experiments um, on myself really. Um, And this past January, I did a plant-based Whole30. Oh my goodness. So let's back up. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my experience doing a plant-based Whole30 in the month of January. We'll talk about the why behind a plant-based Whole30, maybe who it's for, kind of giving you an idea of what is the difference between a traditional Whole30 and a regular Whole30, and tell you my big exciting announcement as far as how you can work with me if you are wanting to try a plant-based Whole30, okay? So let's talk about it. So. I mentioned way back in episode 123 that I was going to be doing a Whole30 again. I hadn't done one in over two years, maybe even longer. I can't remember when, Um, (laughs) y'all. But um, I was um, invited to be part of a exclusive group of coaches, current Whole30 certified coaches, to give the plant-based Whole30 a go. And we had some support from Whole30 HQ, Stephanie Gorinke. She is a registered dietitian. She helped create eight um, the plant-based whole 30 protocol and kind of troubleshooting throughout it so I was super excited um, to give it a try it was something challenging for me mentally but also challenging for me physically as well you know I like I said I love self experimenting with your body for me it was an opportunity to reevaluate my food freedom again and see if I had any food sensitivities something new that was maybe popped up since the last time I did a whole 30 and just get that data about myself right It was a really great reset until about one week in and I got 
you know what, I got the big C. I'm not even going to say it, (laughs) but you know what I'm talking about. And my energy just plummeted. I was pretty sick for over a week. I wasn't able to coach at Orange Theory, and I was so lethargic. And at that time, I was, you know, transitioned to a plant-based way of eating. And as I was building, trying to build my energy back up, here we are in February, I finally feel 100%. It took quite a while. So I, you know, I'm letting you know, I didn't finish the plant-based Whole30 about, oh, I think I got to day 20. And at that point, I was like, okay, I need to bring back animal protein in my life. So from there, I started a traditional Whole30 from day one and had animal protein again because just with my workouts and my coaching responsibilities that is very physically taxing on me I needed to add back in some extra protein that worked well for my body just based on um, knowing my own body and those energy levels but you know it's not a failure I learned a lot about myself I learned a lot more about different ways to prepare food I still want to eat plant-based a few days a week because it made me feel amazing and the energy levels were just out the roof but I was just so excited that we were offering this because it's going to give more folks an opportunity to be exposed to the whole 30 who really haven't before Okay, so let's talk about why the Whole30 HQ team decided to offer the plant-based Whole30. So this is a direct quote quote from Melissa Urban, the co-founder of the Whole30. She said that, I believe there is no best way to Whole30. And she said best best in quotes, right? And that providing two well-supported frameworks that respect a broad array of individual values will allow more people than ever to access the truly life-changing benefits the program has to offer. I love this. I have had vegan or vegetarian or plant-based clients come to me in the past wanting to try a Whole30. It's been very tricky because we didn't have a protocol in place and it was really hard to help them in the best way. You know, you I understand, you know, um, Melissa goes on to say that people have many reasons for adopting a plant-based diet. It could be ethical, it could be physical, it could be cultural, religious, geographical, or just socio socioeconomical as well. So by providing this, we're able to reach a more broad audience and give you more choices for when you're wanting to do a whole 30. Okay. So you're like, okay, what is a plant-based whole 30? Cause you're already thinking, okay, I eliminate sugar, dairy, grains, legume, alcohol, um, during a traditional whole 30. So what in the world am I going to eat on a plant-based whole 30? So it's very similar. There's a couple of changes obviously, um, to allow for, um, Um, substantial protein, enough adequate protein for you throughout the day. So it's 30 days of no sugar, real or artificial, alcohol, grains, and animal protein. Okay, so no animal proteins or fats that come from animal protein. So the biggest difference is protein sources come from legumes and unprocessed forms of soy. So edamame, tofu, for example. These are the biggest differences between the traditional Whole30 and the plant-based Whole30, and that the plant-based Whole30, there are legumes and unprocessed forms of soy allowed, okay? So for me, this was a big mind trip to tell you the truth because legumes were beans, if you will, were problematic for me. It helped me, I developed a little bit of a rash. It came back during my plant-based Whole30 because I was eating a lot of legumes, obviously. I really like beans, to tell you the truth. Um, And we talk about in the plant-based Whole30 program how to slowly transition eating a lot of beans because of bloating issues and getting your gut ready for eating that amount of legumes and how to prepare those beans, such as soaking them overnight or rinsing them and so on and so forth to help um, make up for that. But it was a really great experiment, like I said, for myself. You still follow a reintroduction protocol, and there's two tracks for that, okay? As you know, or and maybe you don't know, with the reintroduction of the Whole30, it's just not day 31, you go face first into like a pizza. <laughs> day 31, you start reintroducing these foods in a systematic way for you to gather that data as far as what is agreeing with you or not, either um, psychologically, your gut, inflammation, hormonally, etc. Um, and there's two reintroduction protocols. So one, it should take at least six days. You'll start by introducing a couple of options, but one of the biggest things is 
uh, grains and then not um, non-gluten grains and then um, regular grains after that. But the other track has you um, reintroduce animal protein at first. So you might be thinking, okay, so why would I do, who would this be like a really good fit for if you were interested in doing the plant-based Whole30? Well, a couple of different folks. So I think this is really interesting data to share. So back in November 2021, um, Whole30HQ conducted a survey and they had about, oh, I think 1,400 is what it said, um, Whole30ers answer um, if they wanted to explore a plant-based diet or a plant-based Whole30 in 87% of those omnivore community members said yes. So that is a big reason. We got data back from the community that they wanted this. But as far as like if this would be a good fit for you, you know, maybe you're vegan or vegetarian, you want to see the life-changing benefits of the Whole30, you're an omnivore, you want to see how a plant-based diet works for you and do an, you know, more of a structured elimination and reintroduction protocol. Or maybe you're like me and you are one of the original, you've done a Whole30, you were living in your food freedom, maybe you want to compare your original Whole30 experience to a plant-based Whole30 experience and just really, you know, fine-tune your food freedom for there. That was exactly why I wanted to do it. And like I said, I wasn't able to finish it because I had sickness get in the way, but it was still not a failure in my mind because I gathered so much data about myself and I'm eating way more vegetables (laughs) than I was before. So it was a really exciting opportunity to be part of, um, I guess you would say that beta coaching group um, for the plant-based Whole30 back in January, and I learned a lot about myself. It was a a lot of um, getting creative in the kitchen as well, Um, a lot of um, experimenting just with what my food freedom looks like now, and that involves obviously some more vegetables because it felt good. I felt so much energy, and it just just felt amazing. So um, I'm not strictly plant-based now because I... I, um, want animal protein, I crave it, Um, but that might not be for you, or you might want to be strictly plant-based, you know, whatever works for you. This way, you have two different options to do a Whole30 protocol versus just like, well, I can't do it because I'm not plant-based. So, with all that being said, as you know, I am a Whole30 certified coach, now a plant-based Whole30 Whole30 certified coach as well. I have been offering my Whole30 Anytime course for the past couple of years now. It is 35 days of accountability coaching from me, your virtual cheerleader. There is an option to add on some um, weekly calls and texting on there together as well. But my Whole30 Anytime course is geared at helping you prepare for the Whole30, coming at it through a lens of self-care and finishing it with your reintroduction. We spend a ton of time talking about food freedom because that is where it's at, friend. So what I have done, I have taken that Whole30 Anytime course and I have turned into another course called the Plant-Based Whole30 Anytime course. So you can start it now, you can start it anytime. The Whole30 HQ team is launching a worldwide plant-based Whole30 on March 1st. So you can get the course now and start at March 1st, or you can start it at any time as well. Like I said, I will be your virtual Whole30 certified coach, plant-based Whole30 certified coach, helping you lead through it. I updated the whole course to include some troubleshooting areas such as um, making sure you're full enough throughout the day, making sure you're getting enough adequate protein throughout the day, troubleshooting um, beans (laughs) in general as well, because that's a big um, um, question that comes up. I know it was for me when I began the the plant-based Whole30, and really thinking about your reintroduction, having that support and accountability and buy-in to not only start your Whole30, but finish it. Gang, Whole30 set my whole transformation story into that snowball effect. And the biggest thing I learned, you know, I changed my habits and relationship around food. I was living in my food freedom, but the biggest thing, the biggest thing I learned was the empowerment from finishing something. I was never good at finishing anything before when it came to my health. And that just led into a snowball of becoming a behavior change specialist and really focusing on habit strategy and seeing what you can do to change up your habits to live your most fulfilling life. 
and I know the Whole30 can do that for you, if you are looking to reevaluate your habits and relationship with food and you're wanting to explore a plant-based protocol with the reintroduction, then let's go. I'd love for you to join me for the plant-based Whole30 Anytime course. Like I said, the Whole30 is launching a plant-based Whole30 on March 1st, but you can begin my course at any time or begin it on March 1st with everyone else. You can go to bit.ly slash PB for plant-based Whole30 Anytime. I'll include a link in the show notes for you as well for you to check out the course, see if it's a good fit for you. Um, There's a link on there as well to join me for a free webinar that I host every Wednesday evening explaining more about how the Whole30 can really change your life and we've updated it to include some plant-based material um, in there as well and some um, common questions that we're getting in regards to the plant-based Whole30. So I'm super excited. I'm really... um, proud of myself for challenging myself to do not only the Whole30, but the plant-based Whole30 and going through all the challenges I had with it. I'm really excited about the data I learned from myself and some newer habits um, that I had developed over time in January. And I'm excited for you if this is a good fit for you, or maybe you just want to try out my regular Whole30 Anytime course. It's linked in the show notes for you. Always, always friend, because The way you eat, in my opinion, is a form of self-care, and that doesn't mean just eating all, you know, hitting all your macros every day. For me, that means enjoying my best food freedom foods like chocolate chip cookies and margaritas without the guilt, and I want that for you, and I know the Whole30, either the traditional Whole30 or the plant-based Whole30 can do that for you. Okay, gang, any questions that you have, please send me a message um, on Instagram, emilynichols22, or any of the links linked in the show notes to help connect with each other there. I hope to see you in the plant-based Whole30 Anytime course. Either you can start it March 1st or you can start it now, friend, but stay tuned to the podcast Monday. We're going to be talking a little bit more about eating a plant-based lifestyle with an expert guest on that, so I can't wait to share that with you. So again, it's bit.ly slash PB Whole30 Anytime linked in the show notes for you if you want to try out the plant-based Whole30 Anytime course. All right, friends, sending you a big hug. I know this was a little bit longer than our regular Habit Hack um, Thursday episode, but we'll be back with those hacks starting next week, okay? Sending you lots of love, and I'll catch up with you later on. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you love today's show and know your girlfriends need to hear this message too, then grab a screenshot, post it to your Instagram stories and tag me at emilynichols22 because the more mamas out there hearing this message, the more empowered we'll all feel to take care of ourselves so we can pour from a full cup. Or the number one way you can thank me for this podcast is to leave a rating and review in iTunes. That way, more mamas will find the show here too. Love you and appreciate you, girlfriends. See you next time.